Hey guys, my name is Nessie and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a about face. Actually, this is going to be, I decided to move a verdict, um, which is another series that I had where I take about four to five to six, four, five, six items. <laughs> I decided to keep around five items about things about products because a lot of times on here we haul products and we never talk about why we like them or you never hear anything about them past whatever so I decided to do um I was gonna do a verdict the brand edition but instead of that I think I'm just gonna move the ones about skincare into about face and on about face we talk specifically about skincare so it's a verdict but just about skincare a little more in depth um because i do like to purchase sets i think the last one i did for um a set was about the top the tatcha and i will you know put a link up in here so you can go back and look at that um but from now on anyone that we're talking about sets is going to be on um about face and I'll put that in a playlist so you can find it a little easier. Um, okay, so what we're going to talk about today is going to be the um, Olay Hendrickson um, Balance It All. And I got this with the last, um, I got this back in April. And um, I pretty much have used the bulk of it. And I've been using it pretty much every day for my um, morning. And like I said, for anyone that's having kind of skin issues, the best thing for your skin is to really, you know, get a routine going. Um, and the best way to start a routine is to get one of these sets. Um, I'm also a believer in like a Clinique set, but today, obviously, we're going to talk about this. And it's still going to be the same guidelines as far as the, um, the verdict. Um, so the questions are... Did the product do what it says it's going to do? Is it worth the price? Do you like the smell and the texture of the product? And would you repurchase this again? So very four different, you know, four simple criteria, which I think you should be looking at in pretty much any product that you're using. Um, because we like to try a lot of products. And this just helps kind of keep up with it. Anywho, this set, um, Retail for $34. Obviously, I got this a little cheaper because like I said, I got it during the VIP sale. But that's pretty much a good, um, that's pretty good for what this is. Everything in here is about two ounces. Roughly two ounces. And your other choice, like if you got a full size, full size is about five ounces to me. Double check that, the regular size of it. It's six, six ounces. Although I would think that for um, some things you just need more of. That's why I, that's one of my criticisms about this set too. Like you get um, 0.5 ounces of the lotion, the um, counter. I'll just look at the box so you can see it. I'm holding it down and that's not helping. I kept the box so we can actually have a visual, but this is trash. And like I said, the lotion in here is empty. That was the first thing that I used up. Um, yeah. Let it fall. And it was hard to get out of here. Jeez. All right. So, the lotion. This is the counter balance oil control hydrator. And this is, I will say that this set is for people with my kind of skin um, type. My skin type, which is oily combination. So, yeah. I did notice some... Um, reviews on Sephora and on their website is about how it's drying but it's like that's kind of the idea it's going to try to dry you out because it's for people that have oily skin so keep that in mind um and as far as and I'll just go product by product so you got the um counterbalancing oil so you guys can read you have the balancing force oil control toner and I think I will insert a picture too so you can get a better look at it and define your balance oil control cleanser. 
So, and if you want to know how to do the steps, it's easy. You always go cleanser, toner, moisturizer. All right. So, since I was talking, I'll start with the moisturizer. Like I said, this was only 0.5 ounces. For it to be a moisturizer, I didn't. I only use a pump each time, um, and that was the first thing. Uh, that didn't. It didn't last the whole month. So that's my main criticism. As far as um, texture, so did the product do what it said it was going to do? Yes. It's very light. It's kind of like a gel consistency, so that covers texture too. I did like the smell. It didn't smell too. You know how sometimes you can get things that are supposed to balance, especially for your skin type, and it can smell a little, you know, eucalyptus y and balances. Like it has a nice balance and it's not too overpowering. So I did like that. Is it worth the price? Well, this retails about $10. I think it's worth the price. Well, the regular amount for this is $26. I will insert the regular price. And for the amount you get, it's worth it in the big size. But for this, no. I feel like you can get more. And as far as would I buy it again, um, I'm kind of on the fence about the lotion because I just have other balancing lotions that work the same as it. So I like the Tatcha better even though this is cheaper than that. So um, as far as cost efficiency, it's cheaper than what I normally like but I feel like I get a full bottle of product so that's probably the issue too. And this, and this comes in a pump, so I'll say that too. So that is good as far as to control the amount you get out. Okay, and I will go to the next thing, which will be the Find Your Balancing Oil Cleanser. And um, did it do what it was going to do? Yes, it's a basically a kind of gel. I still have some of this, and I use a little bit every morning. And I don't know if you can see that. That's how it is. It's just like a gel. But it's a substantial gel. I like that it's not running. So you do see that and how it didn't drip down. You only probably need about that much. You need about the size of a pea. Um, it does foam up a little bit. Um, so yeah. Um, yeah, it gives you a little lather. It's not crazy crazy. And I do feel like my skin is clean when I use it. This retails for um, 25, I believe. So, yeah, but you get 6.5 ounces, so keep that in mind. And um, the smell with this one is kind of peppermint, and I do like the smell of peppermint, so this is relieving and it does tingle. Would I repurchase this? I think I would on the cleanser. This is a pretty nice gel cleanser. The one I was using before is the one from the body shop. And I was using, yeah, I used their whole oil balancing kind of situation that they were doing there which is um it's like a blue algae kind the and that doesn't really have a smell except for the lotion this lotion smells a little fishy so that's the only thing i would not get that again but that's not what we talked about but that's a good alternative to this because it does do the same thing and you get in a set all right the final thing is the toner which is the balancing force oil control toner and you know you use this the same way you use any kind of toner you just go in with a cotton pad woo -woo -woo. yeah and then this one it does it has a little tingly ting, tingly thing going on so it does put me in the vein of not and actually for this to be a toner it doesn't really and this is like 26 they're all about the same. The lotion is the most expensive thing out of the set. And what's not in the set, there's also an option for you. There's a scrub that comes in this um, mine. Um, did the product do what it said it was going to do? Yes. It is a nice toner. I did not feel like it dried me out. Um, my skin just felt nice. But it does, it does dry up some of the oil. So that's what I'm looking for. Especially now in these coming summer months. Is it worth the price? Um, yeah, I don't think it's super expensive for what it is. That's just my opinion. Do you like the smell? 
I am surprised that this does not actually have that much of a smell. I would think that it would smell peppermint just like the um just like the cleanser and the um lotion. The lotion had a little teeny smell. Um and the texture, it's it's fine. It's not I mean it's toner. I don't know what else to tell people. Like toner is juicy and, and loose. It's almost like putting water on a bag because the the first ingredient. Well the ingredient will be actually on the big box. And when you get the bottle, the full size bottle, which is you know the six plus ounces, it'll be on that bottle, but this is in came in a set, so it's not it's on the box. Um and I'll put that a picture in here so you can look at it too. Um, would I repurchase it? Yeah, I like it as far as toners go. Um, but I am not looking to repurchase anytime soon because what I have now is Sunday Riley. Um, yeah, the Sunday Riley Mattifying Melting Water Gel Toner, and this is truly like a gel. And I treat this one more like a treatment. So I'm not used to kind of toners like this. Um, I'm used to them like this, like a little juicy, a little runny. And it doesn't, it's tingly, it doesn't burn, so I like that too, it's a nice balance. So overall, I would give this um, set like an A or four stars, whatever. Let's do four stars. Because the only thing that, no, three and a half. The only thing that I didn't like is really that the lotion was not cool. I just didn't like that. And I feel like more so out of anything, you see my big face. I need just to touch more lotion. I need to be able to at least get a pump and a half and this should not be the first thing that's gone. Cause I just don't use a ton of it. And I just feel like it was gone really quickly. So, but that's the only thing. It felt nice. It get, I like the tingly, don't like a burn. So that's what I would say. And as far as price goes, that's pretty decent. As far as a set goes for um, $34. And then of course I got it when it was on sale, so it was cheaper than that. So if you keep all of that in mind, it's still got good for what it is. So definitely I would give this, yeah, three and a half stars. And the only reason I'm taking that half off is really because I feel like I didn't get all the lotion I could get. But I like it for what it was. Um, as far as you, want to get into kind of bougie skin care kind of regime that's a, I think that's a good way to start um, but I should also keep in mind that I don't really have acne um, I get breakouts you know at a certain time of the month um, so when there's hormonal things going on I have it like that but I do feel like it kept my skin at bay I didn't feel super greasy when I used it. Um, I do have another toner that I do have in the verdict that's currently going on, the one that's brightening, and I don't feel like that it that brightening does not take my oil away, and it's also a spray form too. So that would be the difference. And I like that, you know, like a toner that is juicy. So I like it for what it was. I think as far as the cleaner cleanser, it's doable. So I think a lot of that is doable. And I always tell you, you know, go with things that work for your skin. If this is not working, you know, just kind of keep it moving. And that's fine. Well, I know this was kind of long. Remember to subscribe, comment, like, thumbs up, do all that. Just, you know, keep it going. Um, anything you particularly want to see, have any questions, I'll try to give you as much information about the product and the um, info box and with throughout the video. Um, yeah, like I said, I ramble. I always ramble for it. But y'all have a good, blessed rest of the day, week. And remember that Nessie loves you. Bye.